here with Minnesota State Women's uh, Volleyball Coach and Lori Rittenhouse Wolmu uh, after a pretty impressive week. I mean, started off a little hard with Concordia, but uh, ended up upsetting number eight Minnesota Duluth and and sweeping uh, St. Cloud State here at Taylor Center. Um, coach, just talk about that uh, big weekend. I mean, prove records and it always helps. Yeah, we've uh, been talking all season about growth as players, as a team, as a program, and kind of all of those pieces that have been showing up more and more and consistently in practice finally just poof right there Friday, which was great timing for us because to be a big, uh, a solid team, a solid program like Duluth, um, you know, you got to have all pieces, you know, firing. And it was great to really start to see our balanced attack, not just have kind of a one-trick pony, but really use our offensive system with here she is. If you commit to her, we've got people that can put the ball away other places. We added some of our back row attack and, um, you know, and probably part that got overlooked is our ball handling finally was back. That's been kind of a trademark of our program the last few years. And um, uh, Maddie, Rissy, Fogo, Nev, they, they just got it done. There wasn't a ball that they didn't pursue or get up a little bit and then throw up another ball for us to get another attack out of. So I'm real proud of the performance that everybody put in. Do you think this could be a bit of a momentum shift, hopefully going towards the end of the year, especially around tournament time? It's definitely a possibility. If anything, this season our girls have been committed to what we call our vision. Um, we really want to make it to the NSIC tournament, and uh, we know we have the people, we know we have the system um, to really, you know, vie for that championship. And if you win the tournament, then you're automatically in the NCAA tournament, and um, that would be kind of the ultimate cherry on top, so to speak. So um, we're really trying to put it together. Um, there's there's definitely the buy-in. We have the players. Now it's that execution piece. So from a coaching perspective, we're hoping it sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and talking about that balance performance, you have a couple freshmen that are really stepping up the past couple of weeks. Uh, just this past week, uh, Nevena Vukumanovic picks up her second double-double of her career with a double digit in kills and digs and St. Cloud win. Uh, Autumn Risch, freshman setter, uh, thrown in by fire kind of mm -hmm. right from the start. Um, gets her career high in assists, her new new career high uh, against Duluth. So, and then Maddie Cutie stepping up in the back end of the defense. Just talk about their evaluation through in their first year of college Legion uh, level. As a staff, it's no surprise. We called this class. We have six freshmen, our super six, and um, you know they're they're meeting our expectations. And then um, all this added stuff, just with their maturity, their leadership, just their calmness on the court. That's just. Um, an added bonus. There's not many freshmen, I think, that have that maturity. Um, Nev, she's just a baller. I mean, she's so <laughs> athletic, and the vision she has, she's just crafty. She's just, you know, she can really see where a defensive breakdown is and exploit it. And then the back row, you can really tell she's played a lot of high-level ball because she makes some great reads. Um, Maddie's just got touch. She's been a gym rat. Uh, her, she comes from a coach's family. You can tell she's been around a lot. Um, I knew she would play really well on Friday because her old um, club coach is the assistant at Duluth. So <laughs> there's always that added incentive where you want to kind of show off a little bit. Um, and Autumn, she's been so steady for us in practice that um, she's the one player that I never really worry about. She's always prepared, um, really loves the game, is a huge student, does um, tons of video to prepare herself. So it's great to see her really just step in and the team just continue to move forward. And moving on into the upperclassmen, um, obviously Chris is having the performance like she is this year as we expected, but uh, this past week with uh, Lexi, Sydney, Courtney, and then Vicki, even though she's a sophomore, mm -hmm. I just talk about their stepped up play as well. You must have been happy about that. It's been great. We've been trying to expand their offense, whether that means with additional attacks, different shots, how their 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 selection at certain times. And gosh, it was great to see them just cause a lot of problems for the other team. <laughs> you know, it was it was wonderful to see them tool the block, use their roll shots, get behind, be up. Um, and I think it was uh, our offense. We really ran and recognized when we needed to use them, um, whether it was a matchup or the hot hitter, that type of thing. But yeah, um, and it's great to find have three outsides that you can rotate through it keeps them fresh gives you different looks it's really a problem for defense and blockers because you have to change your timing a little bit so um, that depth that we um, thought going into the season we would have it's really wonderful to see come through and believe it or not uh, we're actually in the last week of uh, October which means there's only three weeks of uh, volleyball can't believe it uh, we've got a couple more road trips up north and then over to Augie and Wayne, and then we finish up here in three weeks against uh, Sioux Falls and Southwest. So, mm -hmm. some very good competition left. Um, so, what's it going to take in top eight teams make the conference tournament? So, what's it going to take to reach that right now? 
Uh, first, you can't overlook anybody. Mm -hmm. I think in our league, um, you know, you can look on paper and see who should win this or that, but everybody's so good that uh, anytime you're on the road, you have to make sure you're, you're um, prepared, getting your rest, um, doing everything you can to go in and take care of business. Uh, you know, Halloween on the road, we'll see what kind of activities we have at the games there. Um, we'll be hopped up on candy. Uh, and then the following weekend uh, at Augie and Wayne, um, we know going in that's going to be a tough one. Augie, we had a real, um, you know, back and forth match here, one in five. You can definitely know that they're, they're going to be ready and poised for some revenge. Wayne is one of the most difficult places to play, not only because they're a good team, but just kind of the atmosphere and what it takes to actually get to Wayne, that type of thing. So we'll be ready to battle. For us, it's all about our side of the net, you know, reducing our unforced errors, running our system, not letting the other side, the jerseys, dictate how we're going to play. And if we can do that, I'm confident we can compete with anybody. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you.